All right. This is just a quick overview um, of my classic car tune-up box. These are all of the, the parts I've had and all the tools I've had, um, but I've never had them in a nice, easy-to-get-to box before. Um, so this is my first toolbox I've ever had. It's this little craftsman box. And um, I just, it's always been useful, but it's just been sort of sitting on the shelf as storage, and I wanted to actually use it as a toolbox again. Um, this is not complete. This is just um, what I had laying around. I got to get like a couple ratchets and some more sockets and figure out which wrenches and screwdrivers I want specifically. Um, but this is just the bulk of what I would need. Um, I need just a few more things. So, just toolbox. The drawers are locked when it's like this. So you can put a cheap master lock on there to make it that much more difficult for someone to steal anything. Or they could just pick up the whole damn thing. But um, I welded on very poorly these arms. And one down there. Uh, this holds my fuel pump and my vacuum gauge. Uh for testing mechanical fuel pumps and um, for reading engine vacuum when you're doing a tune-up. Um, there are a couple of things I'm missing. I know I have. I just have to find them and put them in this box. Also, why the box is here so I don't lose anything. But you'll see when you open up the top, it picks up those arms, and then you can grab your, your vacuum gauge. And that's the... Generic red paint is all we used on the side. Oh, come on. It works a lot better with my dominant hand. There you go. Then you close it, arms, latch it down, and uh, it's not going anywhere. So I'm happy with how that turned out. Um, and then this is very top. I can have my dwell timing light on the leads. Um, Pressure regulator, just in case you have to run an electric fuel pump. I pretty much deal with Oldsmobiles, so an extra rotor, some condenser, and a pair of points. I got some more of these up in one of those boxes. I just have to bring them down and stick them up top. Uh, this is uh, mainly my distributor. This is my specialty tools drawer. So we have like a remote starter button spark tester, dwell adjuster for GM carburetors, brushes, special, special ended screwdrivers, punch set, in case you have a stuck check ball or something, a couple measuring sticks, this I really like for setting float heights, cam lube for your distributor, you can use just use grease, but I picked this up cheap, so I might, I might as well use the right stuff. And then we have uh, specialty drivers. And I've had to use these a couple times on some import carburetors. Um, but you know, your Pac-Man screwdrivers and splined and special hex and stuff like that. So those are always good to have. And you never use them, so you just get a cheap set. And this is the, the brass drift set. Uh, the next drawer is generic hand tools. I need to get a quarter inch and a three eighths ratchet, some three eighths sockets, figure out which wrenches I need. A couple more screwdrivers, and that drawer will be set. Um, this so far is just small parts. If you open up this tin, you'll see there's uh, Holly vacuum secondary springs, throttle springs, studs, vacuum trees, some small link that doesn't belong in there. Some small linkage parts, uh, some center studs for air cleaner assemblies, uh, some wing nuts, nuts, carburetor mounting studs, just general stuff for. Uh, whatever you might need, whatever you might run into if you have to get something a little adjusted. 
or if something's missing something or you just got to make something work. And then the lower drawer, this is all my, this is not all of my, but this is a little bit of everything. There's some holly and there's some GM and uh, I need to get a little bit of gasket paper, cut some off of my big roll and stick some in here in case I need to, but there's some truck parts. Again, there's a lot of Oldsmobile specific stuff in here. Um, a lot of GM specific stuff, but there's there's holly parts. There's some manual choke generic stuff Stuff like that. So a small box but uh, hopefully should do everything I needed to and Yeah, I'm pretty uh, Pretty happy with it. It'll only grow and get fine-tuned. I'll take things out. I'll add things in um, but now I can just grab this and go i don't need to go through three different drawers and go through a checklist make sure i have everything so yeah that's that's it